everyone, so today I have another RuPaul Drag Race inspired look. I did uh, Fifi O'Hara from, I think they were doing the RuPaul, I don't know how to say that word, but they were doing the fashion show um, from uh, season 4, episode 1. I still stuck on that episode. And thank you for everyone that actually posted um, the little link so I can go ahead and watch RuPaul Drag Race. Unfortunately, it doesn't work because I live in Canada and that's from the US, so it does not work. So I'm basically stuck with episode 1. Um, so I'm pulling my inspiration from each one of them. So Fifi O'Hara is one of my favorite contestants and I think she is amazing. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's really, really awesome. But I should say that my first love that I, f like, saw, it would be Sharon Needles. Who does not agree with me? I just love Sharon Needles so, so much. But anyway, I will be doing Inspired Look by Sharon Needles, but this one is Fifi O'Hara. And, um, I know Queen, Queen, Queen of Blending, I think, she also got inspired by this look. But she also did, like, um, the point spikes on it, which is really cool. But I decided to just keep it simple. Yeah. So, if you guys want to know how I achieved it, please keep on watching. So, the first thing I went ahead is that I applied, um, Elf Mineral Eyeshadow Primer all over my eyelid. And a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And then for my eyebrows, what I did is I just took a black eyeshadow. Any black eyeshadow would work. And the one I used was Carbon by MAC. And I took this with a very small angle brush like this. And this is from Coastal Sense. The second thing I want to go ahead and do is that I want to cut my crease like I did on this eye. Doesn't this look so weird? If you guys do tutorials on YouTube, this is really weird. Look at this eye and then look at this eye. Look how huge this one is or how small this one is and how this one is. It is really freaky. I don't know. But, yeah, so I want to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to draw like a wing eye going up. And from this wing in the middle, I'm going to cut my crease. And I'm going to go actually higher than my crease. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm taking carbon black for this. Any black I should have good work. And I'm just going to follow my natural waterline and just go up. And then you just want to blend that upwards. To blend that black, I'm just going to take a small pencil brush, and this is from Coastal Sense, and I'm just going ahead and blending that black. And while I'm blending, I want the black to actually touch the beginning of my eyebrow, like I did here. Next I want to take kind of like a burgundy color and this one is from Prestige that I remember winning in the contest and this is called Blossom and it's just like a burgundy reddish purplish I don't know and it's quite shimmery but I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna take it with another uh, pencil brush but this is more like defined and bigger it's from Coastal Sense as well and I'm just going to put that right on top of the black and I'm going to also build up this color and also you're going to see me go back with the black again I just want to blend them together so that's exactly what I'm doing I'm just going to blend the black and this burgundy color together
And then I'm going to take a concealer brush and I'm going to be taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to put this as a highlight base. And I'm also going to put it right on the eyelid all over. And then I'm just going to take a small eyeshadow brush like this, and I'm just going to take a matte white. You can use a matte white from MAC if you have gesso. It will work well. But I really love the um, opaque white from Glamour Eyes, and it's called Cloud Coverage. And I'm just going to take this and put it right on top of the next Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Now, how do I blend this is that I'm going to bring the white down, but I'm also going to take Prestige's Blossom with the same blending brush and just go ahead and blend that together so you can have that kind of fading effect. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Carbon Black and I'm just going to actually follow the line that I've created here and then bring it all the way down. I'm going to bring it all the way in. Alright, so now I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner, and the one I'm using is from the Forever 21. And I want to create kind of a line going downwards for the upper lash line. And just want to join it. Like that, and I want to create a very thin liner for the upper lash line so I can put the false lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead with the black eyeshadow again with my small little angle brush. And basically I just want to join, join the liner that I created with the liquid liner. Create like kind of a pointy illusion in the front where the tear duct is. And basically blend everything. I'm going to take the same big blending brush that I used with the purpley burgundy color. I'm going to take Prestige's Blossom again and I'm going to put that right on top of the black on the lower lash line. And I'm going to blend them both together. Alright, so I'm going to do this fast. My camera has cut out, but I went ahead and I applied false lashes and mascara. The mascara I used was actually the MAC one, and this is the Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara, and I used that to actually blend my lashes with the false lashes. And then for lips, I actually indicated two pictures. At the end, you're going to see I have one with black lips, and I actually just changed it to 
this color. This color is actually just like a really dark purple color and this is called Cyber by MAC and it looks like this. But for the black, I'll tell you what I used. I just used black uh, pencil liner. Any pencil liner would work. This is MAC uh, Graph, Griff Black. Graph Black. I don't know. And um, I just outlined that. And then I used Wet n Wild Fantasy Markers. And it's just like a black lipstick that I got from ha last Halloween. And yeah, that's all for that black lips. So, uh, for cheeks, I have MAC Bronzing Powder, and I really contoured my face with that. I don't know if you guys could see, but I contoured my face, and I also did the nose bridge. And then, for the apples of the cheek, I'm using Desert Rose by MAC. It looks like that. And, uh, for highlight, I used MAC Pearl. And right on top of the MAC Pearl, I used um, ELF Gotta Glow Blush. It's also a highlight. Mine is broken. And then also for um, my Inside Waterline Black, I actually have this. I had this a long time ago. It's actually my cousins who gave it to me. And it is just a black coal um, liner and... I don't know where you can find it because it's not from here, it's from Saudi Arabia. So they gave me that and it's really nice. Um, it's like waterproof and it stays in there. Yeah, and I put that right in there and up as well. So pretty much it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please don't be sure to ask. And I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.